Good morning, Joy here. Joy here at my Edmund house still, waiting for Philly to come on Thursday. She's gonna be here like 10 o'clock Thursday morning so we can sew all Thursday and then our classes start Friday. Anyway, it's Tuesday, June 25, 2019. So, you wanna just talk about stuff? <laughs> I never know what I wanna talk about. But I have some stuff to show you guys. Um, those of you that love to quilt and those of you that love to sew, I have things to show you. Mm. There's something I want to tell you first. I better put this coffee far away so I don't dump it in my lap. <laughs> Philly's coming as you know. Now Philly and I, many, many moons ago, took a class in Tulsa by these two ladies. One lady's name was Nancy and the other lady's name was Debbie. And they had this little fabric store and it carried nice, fancy fabric. And they had been through the Palmer and Plesh fitting course themselves. And so they were teaching the Palmer and Plesh system. So that's how Philly and I learned it. And so it really works best with two people, as you all know, um, if you know anything about the Palmer Plesh system where you fit the paper to your body. So, I thought, oh, Philly's gonna be here. I need a project to Palmer and Plush when Philly's here. So guess what I'm gonna do? I had already bought this pattern several weeks ago. I showed it to you guys. I had already bought it, but of course it's at my other house. And of course it's not on sale right now. So for the first time in dear Lord 40 years, I have actually paid full price for a pattern. You know, I understand they're supposedly 40% off. That's an absolute joke. The 40% off is their actual full price. Has been for years and years and years and years. So I actually paid full price for this thing. But this is the dress. Right here. I don't wear a lot of dresses. But I like to wear long dresses. I think they're fun. And that's got a big old split up the front. So it should be nice and cool, plus it's sleeveless. Huh? You can see it's Simplicity 8912. Okay? So I thought, well, I don't want to make it out of orange or gold, whatever that color is. And I was at Hobby Lobby. I didn't want to go to Joanne's. Joanne's is 20, more than 20 miles away from my house here. And I didn't really want to go that far. Hobby Lobby is about five miles from my house. So anyway, I bought this again. And then I looked around Hobby Lobby to find something to make it with. And I decided, hey, how about a lightweight denim? Yay! And you know about denim, I don't know if any of you follow Peggy Sagers, but you seamstresses, if you don't, you should. Peggy Sagers has made thousands, probably, of free videos. I don't agree with everything Peggy does and how she does it, but, I don't agree with anybody else 100%. Do you? I doubt it. I probably don't agree with you 100%. <laughs> but she's a very, very generous lady. And she is not, she does not have the gift of teaching. She's really bad at it. But she tries. And she's improved over the years. So anyway, she was on the other night. And she, one of the things Peggy Sagers, S-A-G-E-R-S, talks about is when you get a stiff fabric like denim, you can wash it in a can of Coke. It has to be real Coke, normal Coke, not caffeine-free or sugar-free or diet or any of that. It's a real can of Coke. And you just dump it in the washing machine. Only put as much water as you have to have to cover your denim. Pour the Coke in there and just run it through a wash cycle. And it softens it. And if it's not soft enough, do it again and again. She had one last night she showed. She said she'd washed it three times in Coke. So this is one that I just bought from Hobby Lobby. And it's already, see how it drapes? It's already soft. It's just yummy. Ah, I love it. So anyway, I am going to attempt to embroider that neckline. This lady has, I don't know if it's embroidery or she just cut out some lace and sewed it around. But I'm going to embroider it. But first of all, I've got to get the pattern made to fit me properly. So that's the Palmer plush part. Let me tell you something else. This denim, I don't know if all denims do it. This denim ran like crazy. 
It looked like in the Bible where God turned all the water to blood. <laughs> it looked like he turned all the water to blue blood. <laughs> What's blue? Blueberries. It looks like he turned all the water to blueberry in the washing machine. It was dark, bright blue. So I put in several of those. Gosh, if you guys don't have these. Um, they're called Shout. Oh my gosh, Joy, what are they called? Mmm. Anyway, color catchers. They're called color catchers. They're made by Shout. And they're sheets, like fabric um, softener sheets. And you can put in one or two or three. Well, I put in three, and they all came out dark blue. So, beware of that. Don't wash this with anything else unless you want it to be blue also, okay? A lot of fabrics are like that, but this one definitely was. I was shocked. So anyway, that's my project for when Philly comes on Thursday. So now, Philly, you can see what it is. I want you to help me Palmer Blush. Okay? So that's that project. Now listen, y'all. I've told you this before. Anytime I make a video, or Viv Mom makes a video, or Becky, or Tomcat, or there's dozens and dozens of girls out there doing sewing videos. Always look below the YouTube video into the description box. And the description box has this little, you probably won't see very much, it has this little writing underneath it that says more. And if you click on more, it will open up and expand. And you can almost always find the pattern numbers in the description box if somebody doesn't tell you what they are, okay? And then you don't have to go back and watch the whole video again to see what the pattern numbers are. You can just look in the description box. So, that's my sewing project. I want to show you my quilting project. There is a girl named Lauren. Lauren, I don't know her last name, but her name is Lauren. And she's a quilter, and she's a fabulous quilter. She's a military wife, and so I guess her husband's gone a lot. Let me have my sippa. Anyway, her husband's gone a lot. So she started, she bought a long arm. She has the APQS Millennium like I do. And she has a class on Blueprint, I'm pretty sure. And now she just teaches with her YouTube videos. Or you can pay a tiny little amount and take some of her classes. She's adorable. She's young and has little kids and she's got that gorgeous long hair that I just love so much. But anyway, her name is Lauren. One of the things she does is panels. There was a panel last year, I'm sure you all saw it, and I don't remember what it was called, but it had this gigantic flower on it. Huge, huge flower. It starts in the center and then it's got petals and then more petals and then more petals and then more petals and then more petals, and, more petals and it just goes around and around and around and around. She's got a class on how to quilt that. I'm not gonna take her class. I think I actually paid for it, but I really don't wanna do it the way she did it. Also, there is a quilting design um, already made up. I don't know which company has it, but if you put in that panel name, and of course I can't remember what it's called, um, you can buy, I don't know if it's from My Creative Stitches or if it's from Wasatch or exactly where it's from, but it is one that you can put in your computer on your long arm and you can quilt that entire panel with it. And it is beautiful. But I want, I have that one too. I have that one in ivory. I want to do it myself because I want to be able to say, look, I did this, not I copied somebody else. Usually I love to copy somebody else, but I've been quilting for a long time and I know pretty much how to do it myself, so I want to do it myself. Okay, so that panel is in the cabinet in Kingston and <laughs> I haven't done it yet. So now there's a new panel out this year. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I don't know if it's as pretty as the first one, but it's fun. I love fall. Fall is my favorite time of the year. So I thought I might even hang this on my patio in fall time, if I can figure out some way to do it. <laughs> so this one comes in lots and lots of colors. So does the other one. It's some kind of a big flower. Gosh, I wish I could remember the name of it. It's just huge. I'll put it in the description box, okay? <laughs> <coughs> always look in the description box anyway this is the newest panel let me see if the company name is on here I don't know if it's RJR or Kaufman I think it's Kaufman 
Is it Kaufman? Let me see. It's called Dream Big. Oh, I think that other one's called Dream Big. And it's a flower. Dream Big. And this one's called Dream Big Leaf. Dream Big Leaf, a Hoffman Spectrum print by Jeannie Sumrall. A Harrow. A, a, well, never mind that. It's Hoffman. <laughs> okay. And this comes in oh, a dozen colors probably. But I wanted the one that look the most like real fall colors. So, this is the Dream Big Leaf, and the color of this one is called Autumn. Now look what else Lauren does. She's so adorable, you guys. She puts together all of the threads that you need to quilt it with. My gosh, she's gonna spend hours and hours and hours doing this. But she sent me six colors, I paid for them, six colors that are in this quilt. Now how awesome is that? How much time does that save me? All these colors in this quilt. So I really, really am excited about this quilt. I wish it had the color of my walls in it here, but it doesn't. So like I said, I'll probably hang it on my patio at the other house. That'll be pretty. You know, under the part that's covered, that'd be pretty. Maybe I'll use it for a television cover up or something. <laughs> okay, so that's my quilting project. And another reason that I wanted to do these panels was because I have this Solaris that has the great big throat opening. So you can do quilts, and so it's perfect to do these panels with. So, because I don't have a long arm here at this house, so I thought I'll get these panels and then I can do them on my Solaris. Huh? How about that? <coughs> yes, I'm still coughing. My antibiotics are gone. And my poor husband is still coughing and doesn't feel good. He doesn't even feel good enough to come up here. And this is my husband who never, ever, ever, ever gets sick. But um, he just now started taking some antibiotics himself. So I hope he gets better really soon. Anyhow, Lauren, I cannot think of her last name. <laughs> But I will put her down in the description box, okay? WWW, whatever her address is, all right? So, what else did I want to show you? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, you guys. We're having, a, it's not a contest. We're having a group project. How about that? A group project of ladies making wide leg pants. I'm getting ready to make my second pair. Vivian's already made hers and showed you her pants. Viv Mom Sews um, on YouTube. She showed you exactly from beginning to end how to put the pants together. Super easy. She showed you how to add pockets to them. So a whole bunch of you have told me and told her, I want to make some pants like that. I want to make some pants like that. So this is the pattern that Viv and I both use for our wide leg pants. It's new look. 6384. I'm also making the blouse, by the way. When I get the blouse done, then I'll show you the whole outfit. All right, what I want to tell you is some of you have said you can't find the pattern. I don't think I could find it in the stores, but I found it at Etsy. And so I bought it on Etsy, and the girl mailed it to me, and it only took a couple days. I want to show you something else. On the bottom of these wide leg pants, I have written a number. It says 27 inches. That's how big around the bottom of that pant leg is. Because on the back of the patterns, it tells you finished garment measurements. So I wanted to tell you, just in case this pattern is old and it doesn't exist anymore, there's a whole bunch of wide leg patterns, a whole bunch. I just went through one little box of my patterns and I found one, two, three, four, five patterns with wide leg pants. So what I did was I looked on the back for the measurement of the leg, the hem, when it's finished. You can do that if you go to the store, you're looking for another wide leg pant. This one finished is 27 inches around the bottom hem, okay? That's the one Viv and I made. So, if you find a pattern, look on the back and see how big the bottom of the hem is. This one is, I thought I wrote it down on here. Well, evidently I didn't wrote it down on here and I can't see it without my glasses. 
what I did was I went through and I looked at these. Now this one's a crop pant. You'll never see me in a crop pant. My ankles swell and I just, <coughs> I try to cover up my ankles so people go, oh my God, your ankles are swollen. <laughs> I don't really know it. Anyway, D, suggested fabrics. Oh, I know why I didn't put it on this one. But you could open it up. This one doesn't have the finished hem on the back of it. But this is a pattern with a wide leg pant. Cropped, you don't have to crop them, just make them longer. On the short and lengthen line, just add three inches or whatever. This is New Look 6461. Here's another one, it was already in my stash. You know, these wide leg pants have been out for years. This is Simplicity 8556, and it's got a wide leg pant, and the bottom of the hem on one leg is 23 inches on this one. 23 inches. The other one was 27 inches. So, maybe you don't want 27 inches. You want a little smaller. This one's 23. You could so also make it bigger, but I don't like to mess with that. That's too much trouble. So that's that one. This one is Simplicity 8848. This one's bottom hem, and of course this is all in my size. It could be 24, 27 and a half, whatever. It goes up and down a little with each size. The bottom of this one is 25 inches. 25 inches. Okay? This one has a wide leg pant, two versions. She has one that's slit clear up to the knee. I think that looks as goofy as can be. Maybe if you had Viv's legs, you could do that one. <coughs> the bottom hem of this wide leg pant is 25 inches. Okay? Plus, they all have cute tops with them, too. 8393. So you don't have to use the same pattern that Viv and I used if it doesn't exist and you can't find it. Here's another one. This one's gorgeous. Now, I bought this one about five years ago. I'm not kidding you. And I bought fabric to make it with. And I thought, oh, my goodness, nobody's wearing those giant leg pants. Everybody's wearing skin-tight pants. So I never made it. But this one is 27 and a half inches, and it's gorgeous in this border print. Look at that. Beautiful. And this is McCall 7164. Absolutely beautiful. So, I might get one of my border prints out and do this version. They most always, this one has a solid waistband in the front and elastic in the back. So that's a real nice way to make them too. So, I'm just saying, there's lots of patterns. They're probably all going to be exactly the same. A front leg, a back leg and a waistband. Almost always, it's just a fold over the top waistband. So, anyway, I just wanted to tell you that. Remember to always look down in the description box for numbers of patterns that we show you, okay? And um, I've got to get ready to go. I've got to go to the store today and deal with the teddy bears. I decided I don't want any of the teddy bears because they're years and years and years old and they're probably dusty and I don't know how you clean a teddy bear if you even can. So <clears throat> I think that when you give stuff to Goodwill, I think they wash everything. So maybe they'll throw all those bears in the washer and if they don't disintegrate, then <laughs> they'll be clean for somebody's kid to have. Okay, so that's all I know for now. I'll be back soon, especially the day that Philly comes and we do my Palmer Plesh. Y'all have a marvelous Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and I'll be back soon. Bye!